Thanks to Punch Equipment. We are in the welterweight division for fight number three. Both these guys on debut here at Eternal 29. First of all, our blue corner. Hit the scales at 76.9 kilos. Another member of the Game Bread Academy. Please welcome Michael Malaki. And fighting out of our red corner at 76.9 kilos, he trains in absolute MMA from Melbourne, Victoria. Please welcome Sam Nix. Round one, and we're into it. The welterweight division, a little bit more power behind these strikes. Ooh, you can hear it already. We're throwing. Malaki getting backed up. He, such a beautiful like, entry into that. He was recoiling from those strikes. Was on the back foot. And then Nix is using the initiative to take, take it down. And now he's working from the back. Constantly, <laughs> constantly this going be, for that choke. This could be over, Jake. Oh. Slipping out. He's slipping out. It's hard to see if it's um. Oh yeah, he lost it. Well, not under the chin. Falling off to the side. We could use his position now to catch a crucifix. Oh, he's come from the front headlock position instead. What he could do here? He could spin around to the back, but the cage is behind him, so it's going to be obviously impossible for him to do it. But he's like, oh no, he proved me wrong. He proved me wrong. He tried. It did not pay off though. Back to a striking exchange. Malaki back to his feet. See if he's going to use that setup again, uh, Jake, where he's going to like punch, get him to cover up top so he's not focusing down on the legs and see if he can take him down again. The old Kane Velasquez. And he's dropped him! Nix has dropped Malaki! He moves over to take his back. Malaki's having none of it. He rolls out. Now we've got a bit of a yin yang where we switch it up. Nix again reverses it, gets another takedown. He's going to stay composed here. He's in a good position. Nice angle. He took the, the almost 90 degree angle away from Malaki, so he's not sitting flush against the cave. He's using it to pass in the mount. Come on, but this is not a good position for Malaki. His head is stuck in the corner. Oh, he's using, uses it to roll. It's almost a half half here. Nix can get the back, and he does. All that push up the case gave Nix the back there. Mm. Hooks in. No good control under the armpit there to stop him from rolling out again, trying to get his shoulders flat to the mat. The more he can control under the armpit when he tries to do these kind of escapes, the more he's going to stick his chest in his back. Right, that's beautiful detail. Strikes to the head are absolutely free range. He's got some great back riding ability there. He hasn't come up, you know, he's thick looking super solid. Even though, the back. Yeah, <laughs> even though Malaki has been able to escape a few of these, it's, it's, it's cost him a lot of his stamina to do so. The hand fighting game here. What Malaki wants to do is to keep control of that arm there. That top arm, the top right arm there. He's quick sneak across and grab to his neck. He's gone to the wrong side now, which is actually the beneficial side for Nick. Once the side is easier to choke. But he's let go of that position, so. Mm. Mm. Back and forth. <laughs> this has got to be frustrating for Malaki. I'm in the smash the chicken position here. This is very painful on the lower back. He's getting flat again. It's almost out of the frying pan into the fire. Mm. Pick your poison. You want to get choked or you want to get pounded on? Beautiful. Now. Good transition, and he kept the control the whole time. He's got 30 seconds to work in there, He's got to watch putting those arms out there as well. Could have went for an armbar, but he's choosing a pound. Much better decision. Going into the, the end of the round, you want to pound. You want to disorient your opponent. You don't want to go for a submission and then escape. That's right. You might get a little boost of confidence from that. Hey, this guy gave me everything he had. Tried to slap on a sub and I escaped. Rather than just eating punches from the mount, you go to your corner and think, wow, not a great round. It looks good in the judges' eyes, too. Pretty strong on the top dog position like that. Very nice. Why does he say it's like one for the judges? One for the One for the judges. Fantastic first round there. Nick just spent the majority on the offense. Whether it was on the feet, um, he landed a few crisp strikes, took a few as well, but it was really in those grappling exchanges where he took over. And the first thing he was saying is too, um, Malaki looked like he was strong with those hits. I was thinking, oh wow, he's got some solid power behind it. But then Nick started to take over towards the round, as the round started to progress. He did. He was stalking him, he was getting him against the cage. 
Second down, big thanks to the now official of women's supplies, punch equipment. All the players in the case tonight wearing punch equipment. Round two, this is Walton Way battle. Malaki to adopting the south pole position, so we're seeing an open guard. Whereas both bodies of the men that is open to the power side of the other. Spinning attack. Bit of capoeira there. Why not? Nick's again, he just bull rushes. Straight into a mount. This is in a good position here from the man. He just starts to use this to pick his partner apart rather than going for the flurries. Because as he's seeing, as he punches, Malaki turns over. Mm -hmm. We've seen that's a, that's a pattern that's happening now. Yeah. So he maintain both hooks and he starts to attack to the neck. Mm. And what Malaki's doing when he does that, when he goes from mount to the back position, he's not escaping. He's opting for a different position. Mm. He said, when you're hand fighting, the choke is a lot harder with the gloves on. That is deep, my friend. Yeah. Oh, and he, he defends beautifully. He's got to do it again. He's got to get out and do that again. Grab the gloves and pull down. Yeah, and Nick needs to really hide that hand. The hand that just taps, I mean, and it's hard. It's just too much for too long. You can't sit in those choke notes, even if it's not um, completely synced up the whole way. If you're tired, the blood gets cut off to your brain. That's just no oxygen, and the body does not work. It's obviously attempting to get that the whole time. Yeah. Right there, Jake. Looking for take down, take the back. Solidify the hooks in. Soften up a little bit of punches so you can get the arms under the neck and get a nice choke. And he did exactly that. The first round, a bit of a feel around. He found out positions where he wanted to be. Found out our position where Malaki did not want to be, and that was on his back. Beautiful win by Nick. Fight number three, all thanks to Punch Equipment, at a time of one minute, six seconds gone, a round number two. The fight is being stopped. Tap out, Judo, the American Joe, Sam Nick.